Alright, so it's Abby, welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the Ghost Town map with Crazy from Lemon Clan. He's in the Tier 5 Soviet medium tank, the T 34. This is an iconic uh, historical vehicle, of course. Yeah, it's got the 57mm gun, it's not the top gun, but uh, this is one with the highest damage per minute. And it's got uh, the main load out of the premium shells. Supreme shells have got a velocity of just over 1200 megs per second, which in tier 5 is pretty impressive. Um, 189 millimeter of um, penetration, which will cover everything at tier 5 without any problem. Uh, unless you play in tier 6, tier 7 games, of course, um, but uh, he is top tier in this game. Alright, now he's looking into the centre, he's heading off to the um, sort of east side of the map here. Uh, now, the uh, average damage of the shell is about 85. So now he's just punching shells in here. That's what I mean about DPM, just how quickly the uh, gun fires. So he's managed to put uh, quite a few shots into the um, leopard that he just killed. So it takes the first kill of the game. Stage. He's just sort of waiting on spotting by his teammates. This hits are in a fairly poor position there. The A20 in the middle, which is the uh, only light tank on his team. I think he's got four light tanks, but it's, uh, he's gotten rid of the tier 5 one. Uh, the rest of them are tier 4. But looks is quite dangerous as well. It's got a um, sort of rapid firing gun. Okay, I've had a bit of damage as well, but it is a clip, so it just wait to reload so they can take advantage of that uh, time to put shots into the course. Okay, Crazy so just advancing, so, you know, he's just got spotting from those tanks in the middle just to see whether he can get any more out of them. And okay, we've got a KV-1 there just on the edge of the town there, just see the outline, and he's putting shots into an ad, so heavy tank, which is quite um, strong armour, but he's managed to go through the front if you can hit it, so <laughs> I don't see any problem. Alright, now, you see on his left, there's one of the looks. Now, if he goes after the looks, he's going to get spotted, and that would put him into crossfire from the KV-1 as well. Um, so, he's just waiting. The looks are sort of backed off a bit. He's going to pick his opportunity, either the KV-1 goes away, or the looks comes out. But uh, you definitely don't want to get into a crossfire if you can help it. Although that KV1 didn't seem all that uh, aware. This team just questioning why their KV1 is up on the platform at uh, A4. That's a very good question. Alright. Now I've got some potential targets in the town, and you can see, and we've pointed this out quite a few times, that. Um, Keeping the spotted targets at the edge of your view range is, means that uh, you're very unlikely to be spotted when you're firing. And there he's got this side of the uh, UI. Now he's angled here with the defender. Yes, he does. Okay, so interesting. But then he gets two shots in before the OI gets behind cover. So uh, just being opportunistic here, and that's perfect uh, behaviour. We're in a medium tank. And uh, you want to use your mobility to get around the map and basically try and get as much damage out of each location as you can, but there's no point sort of staying in one place unless, of course, you've got constant targets. So here he is um, looking for those targets on the hill. Now, they do have a KV-1 up there and a Matilda, but uh, that Matilda looks like it's just been pounded by Luxes or something like that, but they've got a key hose, actually. But uh, he's certainly been losing plenty of hit points in fact there he goes taken out by the arty don't crazy just questioning where the wheels to go to there and you know, he's found that KV1 again so he should be able to get some more damage out of his KV1 hopefully take him out of the game top tier heavy tank one more sh or two more shots at this rate last one and he gets the kill he does get spotted there but that's by the looks now the looks has just driven right past him not noticed him 
and she lands his shots in penetrating looks there, new dramas. She got one more shot in and gets another kill. So three kills now to Crazy. But he decides not to push his luck there with the key hose. They don't seem to have noticed him, which is a good thing. He did see a target there in the centre of Cavalier, which um, I think he'd also like to get rid of. That's again another top tier tank. Can get rid of this Cavalier and the Cavalier probably knows he's out here. He certainly does now that he's uh, taken a hit but uh, still hasn't been spotted, so that's a good outcome. And now the KV one's been taken out by the Keo, so it's an uh, interesting result there. Now the game, yes, they're sort of behind at the moment. They're down on the hit points and down on tanks, but uh, with Crazy Bit in your team, you never know. He's got a habit of pulling out uh, wins when it looks like all is lost, so let's uh, see what happens now. So coming back to the other side of the map here, and again this is all about um, view range and keeping the enemy at the edge of your spotting range, assuming that you've got other people spotting. But it seems to be no one on the side of the map, so he's taking the opportunity to get closer to town. And here we go, B1. Alright. Now he's spotted now, bounces the first round from the B1. He can afford to take a couple of hits here. Oh, there's the Cavalier. Now he really wants to focus the Cavalier, which is what he's doing. Two more shells and he'll get the kill, which he does. And now he's got the B1. Now B1 can be a bit dangerous. It's uh, got pretty strong armor. But uh, again, with this um, premium round, he's got no problems going through. You can see the DPM of this machine quite powerful. And one more shot and he's got the kill. All right, here comes another one. This is the uh, strip tank destroyer. Puts a shot in as he comes down. Does take a hit, but uh, he's pumping shots in before the uh, strip can turn around. He should get a kill here, which he does. Doesn't take much more damage, but that's taken up to two and a half k, which in tier five is pretty impressive. All right, it's got center maintain a bishop in the center there. Kehoe's going around the north. The target is going to give him the best opportunity. So it looks like that uh, Kehoe there. Might be able to get some shots into it. Yes, he can. Okay, not noticing him. One more shot. Oh, two more shots now. One more to go. And he gets taken out anyway by the M10. And now there's Stug 3 on the cap. Oh, he knows he's here. Put a shot in. And he can uh, fire at him. And he gets some assisted damage there. So nearly 3k now. But he's up to 6 kills. So that's his top gun. Now he's found the bishop. Bishop facing the other way. Not a problem, able to get rid of him very quickly, but it's got some nice hit points to farm here, which is exactly what he wants to do. It's getting open 3k damage here, this is turning a standing game at tier 5, and this is not on the ANZ server, so there's no bots involved, at least none that we know of. There are no artificial players introduced by Wargaming, that is. And now there's one remaining Kehoe. I spotted it. Uh, a4, but uh, it doesn't mean he's there anymore. In fact, there he is. And he actually puts a shot into Crazy Bit, another one. So, interesting. The uh, Kiho is definitely um, capable of doing a bit of damage there. T4, that's uh, pretty impressive. So, can Crazy Bit make this work for him? It does support there for an M10 RBFM, which is a uh, very impressive uh, TD. And can't uh, use auto lock all the time here with particularly with a fast moving target. But uh, now he's just focusing down, but he's getting low on hit points himself. <laughs> he's down to one hit point, and there goes the key. He ends up the game with one hit point. That's just amazing. But anyway, they got the kill. He's got his six kills, and what a result. Some nice results there 3.5k of damage, six kills. So it's the top gun and the high caliber reward. It's only bounced a small amount there. Um, and a small amount of spotting damage there, so 3.6k combined, uh, that will help him get towards his third mark on the game. Uh, let's have the team score here, oh nice level there, 1457 base experience, well in front of the rest of the team, uh, just twice as much as the next tank there, which was the M10 who helped him out at the end, and uh, that uh, they managed to get three kills, so between them they've got nine kills out of the total. 
uh, and uh, basically that is the winning combination there. The um, enemy team, no one did much more than 1.2k there. You've got the OI Experimental and the Kiho, which uh, I'm not sure if that's the one he killed at the end, but um, yeah, certainly put in a fair effort there to try and win the game. So good, good try there from the, the uh, Kihos. All right, uh, let's see how that worked out in terms of cost. Ooh, that's a fair sum cost in this one, but uh, let's get to that. Fired 61 shots, that's an enormous amount. And yes, they were all premium rounds. 48 hits, and out of those, 45 penetrations. That's given his damage target. He's had 45,000 credits, actually more than that, because that's the uh, what replace doesn't adjust it for your premium account. Um, he did have some personal reserves running as well. So he's earned 101,000 for the battle, which I think is correct, but he spent 170,000 on ammunition and 40,000 on his consumer also, so it's a net loss of 111,000, nearly 112,000. Nonetheless, great result there from Crazy Abam. We'd love to see his games. Very innovative player and uh, always you know, managed just to get a good result. Uh, so do definitely like to see his content here. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, or you're either entertained or you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. It certainly helps uh, it get amongst more people. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.